Is there a heart or bound by sorrow? Is there a life weighed down by care? Come to the cross, each burden bearing, all your anxiety leave it there. All your anxiety. I'm about to share with the brethren and sisters in the Trans Orange Conference of Seventh day Adventists here in South Africa. And I'm also praying for anyone who will come across this message, short as it is. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, good evening, brothers and sisters. As we close the Sabbath on this uh, 27th of November 2020, um, I have a, a message here that I prepared to share with all the brothers and sisters in the Trans Orange Conference and with everybody in this world who will come across this short sermon. The sermon is found in Luke chapter 10 and verse 20. It reads, I cut it, Rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, he said. But rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. 
This is Luke chapter 10 and verse 20. This story actually starts in Matthew chapter 10. In Matthew chapter 10, we see Jesus sending his disciples to go out and preach the gospel and heal the sick. You know, when they came, they were so excited. I can imagine some of them said, you know, Lord, you should have been there to see for yourself. They even forgot that he can see where they can't see. They said, you should have been there, Lord, to see what had happened. Some said, you know, the Lord, we gave them the gospel. It was so great. You know, I hear this often repeated among preachers today. The Savior looked at them, and that question came up in his mind. He could see a people that were excited about the activities they would do for him and for his church and for the world, but who would never mind about how their histories will close. You know, I wrote something here. I said, this is the problem of humanity. Uh, if we look at us humans, we can imagine what happened to the disciples. He could look into their future and he could see that Peter would reject him just at the, the, the closing moments. He saw that Judas would even deny him and they sell him for 30 pieces of silver. And then I wrote something here. I said, probably this is us. You know, if we look into today's society, we worry about who we are in society. We worry about who we are in the church. How much in terms of cash have we acquired? Those are things that matter in today's society and life. We worry about how much do we possess in terms of the things of this world. What about our education? What have we done better than others? Yes, these things matter. They are important. They make us feel alive today. But not forgetting that our lives as Seventh-day Adventists, as Adventists and Christians, wherever you are, what matters is in the final roundup, will your name be there written in the books of heaven? Coronavirus has taught us that life can disappear in moments. And uh, it's not yet over. In the book, The Great Controversy, page 483, the servant of the Lord, Ellen G. White, saw, or we can say she was shown that, as Jesus ministers in his sanctuary there in heaven, and as each name comes before, and the names are are revealed one by one, starting with the dead and then with the living. She saw that names will be accepted. She saw that names are rejected. We are nearing the end, the closing scenes of ACC history. And we are told in the spirit of prophecy that the final events will be rapid ones. We are also told that uh, things will happen in quick succession. Now, with whatever we do, whatever we accomplish, especially we Seventh-day Adventists, the question that remains unanswered is, is my name written there in the book of life? May the Lord bless us. I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this message. And help us, Lord, to think about it again and again. We may sleep and never wake up. We may go out with a beautiful car we bought, and it is the very one that will close our lives. Maybe when it performs an accident or something. We are not worried, but we know the Savior's grace is sufficient. But sufficient as it is, it requires our cooperation. The question that we want you to answer for us and in our lives as we live is, is our names written there? We thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen.
Yes, my name's written 